Well, bless the good morning to you. We want to lift our eyes to Jesus today. We want to worship him. The Bible says, set your affections in things above, not in things on the earth. Praise God. We thank God for the hope that we have in him. In Revelation 11, verse number 14, we're talking now about, we're going to move into the, the, the seventh trumpet, the third woe. The second woe has passed, he says, behold, the third woe is soon to come. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet. This is the seventh trumpet. And there were loud voices in heaven hmm, saying, the kingdom of the world, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever and ever and ever. Isn't that glorious? And this is where we're heading. You know, we live in a world that increasingly, you will, if you're following the news, increasingly we're seeing philosophies, ideologies, and religions, and systems, political systems, economic systems, um, and academic institutions, so many things that are seem to be galvanized against God against the king of glory, against Jesus, against what the Bible is telling us, the scriptures. And it's only fulfillment. And it's not just like it's happening and, and we're to be surprised. This is what the scriptures have predicted. It's like in um, Psalm 2, the second Psalm. <clears throat> but now the Bible says the kingdom of the world or the kingdoms of the world, they're going to become the kingdom of our Lord and Christ. He is going to rule and reign. That's where we're headed. That's where we're headed. He shall reign forever and ever. And we're going to reign with him. The Bible says, And the 24 elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and they worshiped God. Saying, We give thanks to you, Lord. We give thanks to you. God, Lord God Almighty. He is the God Almighty. He is God of the universe. God who rules and reigns over everything every part of this planet climate change doesn't take god by surprise nothing takes god by surprise he is in control he is in control lord god almighty who is now who was for you have taken your great power and begun to reign he is now moving into the into the sphere of this planet earth into this world he's moving in and he's taking over his reign, his rulership. The nations raged. Hmm. The nations raged. So it says here, the nations rage. Just like it says in Psalm 2. Why do the nations rage and the people's plot <laughs> in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed one saying let let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us he who sits in the heavens i'm reading from psalm 2 laughs and the lord holds them in derision he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury saying as for me i have set my king on zion my holy hill everyone the nations in the world people they're trying to rebel to push off to to say to god have nothing to do with us we don't want you to rule we don't want your laws we don't want um your kingdom we want nothing to do with you god leave us on our own let us live our lives the nations raged but your wrath came your wrath came and the time for the dead to be judged and for rewarding your servants the prophets and saints and those who fear your name both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. Bless the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to notice a few things there. Um, the nation's raging, but God's wrath. It is time for God's wrath to be manifested um, as, as he begins to intervene and judge the wickedness of the world. And we're going to pick this up again tomorrow. The Lord bless you. Do have a wonderful day.